Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we would be looking at how we could enable System Manager on our EC2 instances so that we could access them from the AWS console itself. When I say access the EC2 instances from the management console, uh, what I mean is if it's a Linux instance, we generally do an SSH to the server. So we uh, remotely connect to the server and do an SSH. Instead of using SSH, what we can do is enable SSM so that you don't have to open any ports on the firewall to access your EC2 instance, but could do it from the AWS console itself. Now this applies for both Windows as well as Linux instances. For Linux instances, because it is already a command line based access, which is a shell, uh, it looks exactly similar. Whereas for Windows, uh, you would be able to start a PowerShell session on the server. Today in this video, we would be looking at a Linux example. For that, what I would do is start by creating a Linux VM. And uh, we would be selecting Amazon Linux for this purpose. I would be going with the T3 Micro and uh, we would be selecting a key pair that is masked for access. The next thing that we are going to do is uh, select the VPC. I'm going with the default VPC. Here, what I'm doing is even though I would be creating a new security group, I would not be allowing SSH traffic from the security group to come in on port number 22. And I would be launching the EC2 instance. With this configuration, we still will not be able to access the EC2 instance. You actually will need two things for accessing SS, accessing the EC2 instance via SSM. Number one would be a system SSM agent that should be running on the EC2 instance itself. And number two would be an IAM role which is assigned to the EC2 instance. So let's actually see if there is any IAM role attached to the EC2 instance. As you see, there is none as of now. So I would go into the IAM section to see if there is any IAM role which is already there or not. I go into the roles section and you could filter out for SSM. Here you see there are two services that comes out and there should be a role called as EC2-SSM. Now, if you don't have this role, what you could always do is a create role and we'll create this role for an EC2 instance. The next thing that I would do is select the thing. So here, what you could do is either select, just type in SSM in the policies section and the very first option that you get is Amazon EC2 role for SSM. Now that you have done this, what you could do is click next, give a role name. So I'll call it as CP global SSM access and we would create the role. Now as soon as the role is created, an instance profile uh, would also be created along with the IAM role. So let's actually see. So here, if you see an instance profile, ARN has also been created. Now that the instance profile has been created, what you could do is go to actions, security, modify IAM role. And here you could select the SSM role or policy that was created by you. And you could update the IAM role. So now that you see in the security section, we have the IAM role associated or created attached to it. You also see that in the security group, we don't have any twin role which is allowing traffic on port number 22. <coughs> now, if you want to connect using the system manager, you need to click on connect and go to session manager 
which is via the SSM agent. Now you need to be careful to see that the SSM agent is running on the system. So if you have recently launched the server, you need to wait for the system manager to be available for use. As soon as the SSM agent is available or running on the server, we should be able to see the connect option enabled for us. And if we click on connect, we should be able to connect to the system. Now, the SSM agent for Amazon Linux instances is pre-installed in the AMI itself. And that is the reason why we took Amazon Linux 2023 AMI for, for creating the EC2 instance. Let's say it is not available or not enabled on your systems. What you could do is Google SSM installation and you would be getting the SSM agent installation and reinstallation guide on your systems. So you have it for the Oracle Linux, Debian, which would be for Ubuntu, Red Hat Enterprises, CentOS, Amazon Linux, Amazon Linux 2023, and so on and so forth. If you still get the error that the SSM agent is not online, then you definitely can enable port number 22 on your security group and do a troubleshooting. So let's actually do that. I'll go for SSH. I'll allow it on the entire internet, uh, any IPv4 access. And let's actually quickly connect to our EC2 instance and see if it is allowing us that access or not. I'll just connect to the EC2 instance. And the first thing that I do is uh, become the root user. So we'll see, clear the screen. Uh, what you could do is a uh, system CTL list units and probably prep for SSM. So here you see that the SSM agent is in the running state. So let's actually do a system CTL status this service just to see. Uh, there are some errors that you see on this system. So let's actually see what those errors are. So in order to see the errors, you can do a journal CTL hyphen u this, and this should actually give you a list of all the errors. EC2 role provided failed. Um, pause this. Blah, blah, blah. I think there was an error. I think the CDAP conflict. 404 not found. EC2 role provider failed. So basically, it says that the EC2 role provider failed. I'm not able to do the entire log. So it's actually. Put this into a folder temp uh, ssm.log and let's do a list for temp ssm.log. So, what is happening is it's not able to register. Uh, I info found attempting to register, blah blah blah. So basically, uh, the access is currently denied for the instance. Now let's actually see what is happening. Now there is one important point that uh, we should be uh, also considering is this IAM policy that we have attached to the role is said to be depreciating very soon. So what 
we can also do is attach this additional policy or permission to the IAM role so that it can access can be used. So this is a new policy that also is going to provide access via SSM. Now let's actually restart the service on the system and see if that works or not. So it's system CTL restart and let's actually restart the service. And see if that works or no. So just restarted the service. Service restart done. Let's actually see the status of the service. You see that there are no errors as of such that we see now. Now let's actually go into the session manager tab and you see that session manager is now enabled. So this was actually an issue with the IAM policy that we were using Amazon EC2 role for SSM probably it says would be deprecated soon so probably uh, that is what is uh, being described over here so that was the challenge now let's actually disable the security group uh, rule that is enabled on our servers just to see that everything else works as usual We'll go into this security group rule and edit the inbound traffic and we'll delete the role save the role and uh, what you could do is go to your instances click on the instance click on connect and click on session manager connect and this should take you to a shell now you are currently logged in as uh, SSM user, but the SSM user has the sudo as permission to switch to a root user, and from a root user, you can do anything using the same shell that you are used to on an SSH prompt from your local system. So, this is how you can access your AWS EC2 instances via a system manager using this session manager option that is available in the connect option. That's it for this video, folks. I hope you found this informative. Please hit the like option if you like this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and encourage us by putting comments on topics that you would like to see more videos on. Thank you so much for watching. Keep having a great day.